Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode of the Happiness Headspace Podcast. I'm your host, Chloe Johal, and today I'm here to do a solo episode um, to kind of go over 2021, talk about 2022, and just talk about a a whole bunch of things, catch you guys up on where I've been, because I haven't made an episode in a pretty long time. Just want to say, I'm sorry, my voice is kind of raspy. I was screaming yesterday because I was hanging out with some friends. So that's why my voice sounds like that. So I'm sorry about that. Not the most ideal to record a podcast episode, but it's better than nothing, I guess. I just, this episode has been long overdue. I've been wanting to get this episode out for you guys. Um, It was supposed to be the episode for the one year anniversary of the podcast, which was on November 25th, I believe. But um, things just got busy. I kind of just forgot I got lazy, honestly. Um, So here we are. I'm recording this on January 3rd. It's probably going up on January 3rd. I just want to get this up for you guys because I want to start posting my episodes with guests um, as early as this Thursday because there are new episodes of the podcast every single Thursday. So um, I'm just sitting here with my coffee, having the time of my life, and I'm just going to go over a bunch of things in this episode. It probably won't be the longest episode, but I just want to talk about a lot and talk about how we can all collectively make 2022 the best years of our life the best year of our life sorry i don't know why i said years but um yeah let's just get into it so first of all um yeah on november 25th it was the one year of the podcast um literally insane well it's not that crazy but (laughs) i'm being dramatic (laughs) as per usual but um i still feel like it's one of my um accomplishments that i'm very proud of to have started this podcast and to advocate for mental health and the guests that i've had on the podcast are amazing i'm so grateful to be to have been able to have those people onto the podcast and i look forward to having a bunch of other amazing guests on the podcast this year in 2022 but um yeah season one is over we're on to season two now it's gonna be a great season i already have a bunch of episodes pre-recorded and i cannot wait for you guys to hear them again new episodes every single thursday but um season one i feel like i did not go to the fullest of my potential because (laughs) we had a lot of figuring things out and technical difficulties in season one which probably hopefully will not happen in season two um because i feel like I've learned a lot about podcasting in the past few years considering, I don't know if you guys know this, maybe some of you do, some of you don't, but I used to have a podcast called the Dance Generation Podcast a few years back, Um, but it just, I wasn't really that into it anymore because it was just all about dance and I felt like I couldn't talk about as much as I wanted to talk about since you know it was more focused and centered around dance and so now I made this podcast where I can literally have any guests on it and you know because it's just about anyone's life story and it's just about anything I want because it's I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now but you guys know what I mean but yeah basically season one was not the best that I could have made it and I was skipping a lot of weeks and I was you know, just not putting my full effort into it. But this season, I'm dedicated to making it as best as I can and to working very hard on it because I feel like it's um, something in my life that has a lot of potential and that um, could be really cool if this ends up growing a lot. And um, even though it already, I already do, I think it's already very cool, the people that I'm having on the podcast and everything. But anyways, you guys know what I'm trying to say. But now season two i made a new podcast star i don't know if you guys saw but i love how it turned out um so there's like if you guys don't know what podcast art is it's just like the picture (laughs) for the podcast what am i even saying um but yeah so love how that turned out so new podcasts are and we're like i said having new amazing exciting guests and yeah stay tuned every thursday for new episodes um of that now 2021 to go over (laughs) the year that just went by um i'm just calling it a shit show of a year you know what it wasn't it wasn't a bad year you know i had a lot of fun did a lot of things but it was just a mess as a lot of years are 2020 as we know was a huge mess but um no this year is a roller coaster every year is a roller coaster but this year specifically was just like up and downs ups and downs because 
we started the year off we were in quarantine online school then we went into in-person school then I started having the time of my life towards the end of the school year had the a pretty amazing summer went back to school you know now we're back into lockdown there's just a lot going on it's just a whole thing you know um this year definitely taught taught me a lot um you know <laughs> I learned a lot like I did in 2020 uh 2020 and 2021 were both big huge years of growth for me because you know with COVID with lockdowns um I feel like this year I have definitely realized who my real friends are I have lost friends I have made new friends I feel like I've expanded my social circle a lot that which I'm very proud of myself for because um I started off high school well high school I started four years ago you know so that was still kind of a long time ago um but I feel like when I started high school I kind of just like sheltered myself and like I didn't um present myself in the way that I wish I had presented myself which made it for me that like I didn't end up having that many like making that many friends and like I got bullied which was a time of my life (laughs) no but um I talk about that way too much I need to stop making bullying my only personality trait like I got bullied I need to move on like it's over now I'm doing great um yeah you know and (laughs) I look around and I look at the people who have not necessarily been the nicest and you can see like karma karma works in the ways that it does and also it's just like um learning this year to well, I obviously knew this before, but learning to be kind to every single person, you can literally be more kind than you feel. Like, just, like, be... There's nothing stopping you from being the nicest person possible. And, like, why not? Like, why wouldn't you? Like, just go around and, like, compliment people and call your loved ones, tell them you love them. And, you know, just be the nicest person that you possibly can be. I was realizing, so I started working, like, a retail job, like, a month ago. Um, and, like, it made me realize, holy crap, like, I love when people are nice. Like, I, like, I'll, I had to be, like, the person at the door greeting people. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, when I have to be, like, bye, have a good one. You're, like, hi, welcome to our store. Okay, and the people who, like looked at me in the eyes and were like you have a good one too like have a good day like the people who said that like it just completely changed my day like there was people who were ignoring me and I was like that's kind of rude but the people who are like answering me and being nice and just like smiling at me like that makes such a big impact in my day and I was like why can't everyone be like that like if you can be the person who changes someone's day just by being kind like why wouldn't you do that like that's something this year that I just like reinforced even more like I already knew that being kind was important Um, But I started this year off with, well, I also ended it off, but you know, my goal this year was to do an act of kindness every single day. So whether that was to text someone saying that um, I love them and like, thank you for everything they've done for me, or whether that was complimenting a stranger, whether that was, um, you know, paying for someone's order, you know, like, or giving someone a small gift, like, I don't know, just different acts of kindness that just like to spread kindness and remind myself that it's always important to be as kind as you possibly can because it can truly have a huge impact in someone's day um even in someone's life you never know (laughs) this is like going really deep did not expect to be going this deep in this episode but you never know when like someone could be about to end their life like someone could literally be in front of you like at the mall about to end their life like thinking about ending their life when they get home and you telling them that they let you like their outfit could literally stop them from doing that like I know that's like kind of far-fetched and like really deep and like dramatic but it's true like it's literally true I've experienced it firsthand um you know people like something that only one person said that completely changed what I was gonna do on that day (laughs) um you know and I think it's important to always remember that. So be the most kind that you can possibly be. Be kinder than you feel. And you can never be too kind. Like, don't be fake. But, like, you can, like, just, like, be nice to everyone. Like, there's nothing stopping you. And it's, it can't do anything bad, really. Like, 
what's the worst that can happen? Like literally nothing. Just be nice to people and it can truly change someone's life. Um, but yeah, those are some of the things that I've learned in 2021. Um, obviously I've learned more. I'm just trying to like think. I didn't really make notes for this episode because um, I just kind of wanted it to come from the heart. I didn't want to have like things pre-written to say but thinking back I probably should have because now I'm just like blanking on everything that I wanted to say but no yeah this year definitely big year of growth um oh I also learned that like stop like putting so much pressure on yourself and being so dramatic like life isn't that serious like literally like new year's resolutions are great like yeah go into the new year with amazing goals and big aspirations and everything but don't literally do you know what I did last year okay so I was really determined to do all of my new year's resolutions because I kept seeing everyone saying like oh like your people most people like get like give up on their new year's resolutions like not even a week after the new year blah blah blah. and I was like oh I'm not gonna be that person I was like I'm not gonna be the one who literally gives up on their New Year's resolutions and who forgets to do them. So I made a full, like, Google Docs document with, like, tables that, like, I would, like, highlight the day of, like, every single one of my goals to see if I made it, if I did it on that day. So if it was, like, workout every day, like, I made sure that, like, every single day the date was highlighted that I had worked out and that every single day I had, like, I don't even remember what my goals are, like, anyways... It was just so unhealthy because, yeah, like, I want to better myself. Yeah, I want growth. Yes, I want to be a better person and achieve my New Year's resolutions. But that system did not work at all. I was so unhappy. I was just, like, every single day, it was just, like, my to-do list of my New Year's resolutions. Like, New Year's resolutions are, like, fun and all. And it's, like, good to set goals for yourself. But if they're just, like, not making you happy, then, like, why are you setting those goals? Like, yes, growth is not easy. I've learned that. I've learned that growth is not all rainbows and butterflies. You're not growing as a person if everything in your life is great. But I don't think it it's, like, that deep where you should, like, put that much pressure on yourself to do something, like, all these unrealistic things that are not making you happy. Obviously, if you have a goal to become more fit or to eat better, like, yes, you should try to achieve your goal, but don't put so like be self-compassionate, have some self-compassion and know that not everything is going to happen exactly how you want it to and how in life you have to, you know, be a little more like forgiving with yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself because that's not how you're going to be happy. Trust me. Um, But on the other side of that, like I was saying, obviously growth um, is hard. You're not growing when you're comfortable. You're not growing when you're in this like rainbow unicorn world. You're not growing when you're in that state. You're only... The biggest growth happens when you're going through hard times, when you're learning new difficult lessons. And, you know, you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So if you're going through, that's something else that I've learned and that I've experienced this year where it's like the hardest things that you're going through, like it's, it's crazy how like every single thing happens for a reason. Like literally every single thing that's ever happened in my life, you can ask me why it happened and I'll tell you. Like you look back at things and you're like that needed to happen. You look back at the hardest moments in your lives in your life and you're like thank god I went through that because if not I would not be anywhere near the person I am today and every single bad thing that happens in your life it looks like a bad thing it looks like a negative thing but they always have positive outcomes even if you cannot see the pause even if something happened years ago and you still cannot see the positive outcome of it you're going to because every negative and bad quote-unquote bad thing that happens in your life Um, is there for a reason it's happening for you to grow as a person and to learn a lesson and to make you a better person and maybe you can't even see why it happened but it probably did happen for a positive outcome for a reason like sometimes you don't realize like you don't know if your friend canceled plans on you on that day you don't know that if you would have gone to the plans I don't know, something bad would have happened when you guys were together. Like, you don't, 
every single thing happens for a reason. Like, you have no idea what could have happened. Like, yes, it could have been better, but it also could have been worse, you know? Like, that's it. Um, Other thing that I want to say, everything comes to an end. This too shall pass. Um, It's gonna, you're gonna get through it, okay? Whether that's the best moment of your life, if you're having the time of your life, if you're the happiest person ever, Yes, it's going to come to an end. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but yes, it's going to come to an end at some point. There's always going to be hardships and struggles in life. You cannot be 100% happy, obviously. So enjoy those moments and be grateful when you're happy and enjoy the precious moments that you're living with your heart full of joy because yes, it's going to come to an end and you're going to go through some hard moments again. But guess what? Sorry, my headphone just like popped out of my ear. Um, guess what? The thing is, you're gonna get over those hard moments and it's gonna go back to being happy moments. Life is a roller coaster and you can never be 100% happy. And life can also not be 100% bad. Like, you just have to understand that everything comes to an end. Nothing is permanent. Change is the most constant thing in life. And you just have to like wake up and take it day by day. And just hope that work hard for your dreams and believe in the power that the universe has and believe in trust the process, okay? Anyways, now talking about 2022, a new year, um, new year, new me. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be crazy. I'm already three days into 2022 and it's already been a pretty fun time, man. Um, it hasn't been amazing. It hasn't been the best time of my life, but it's been good. And that's a good sign. You know what? It's a very good sign. I'm very happy. Um, I'm doing fantastic. And this year is going to be great. I wish you guys all love and prosperity and peace and joy. Um, tips on how to make 2022 the best year of your life. Kind of the same things as I was talking about in the lessons that I've learned in 2021. Be self-compassionate, love yourself, be kind to others, um, and you kind of just have to realize that you can do whatever the heck you want. I feel like this is not talked about enough, okay? This is not talked about enough, but like literally nothing is stopping you. Like, yeah, if you have strict parents, okay, maybe they don't want you to do something, but like what's going to happen if you do? Like... <laughs> Okay, I'm a really bad influence because, like, this is, it's not coming out how I want it to, but it also, like, it kind of is. Like, what's, like, what's the worst that can happen? Just, like, do whatever you want. Book that plane ticket. Go on that trip alone. Do that crazy thing. It's, always say yes. Always say yes to every opportunity because opportunities are everywhere and life is short and live love laugh like (laughs) this is this sounds stupid I sound so naive and like dumb which I probably am but also just like do whatever you want like there's literally nothing stopping you and just like do crazy things and live out the crazy dreams that you have because life is gonna come to an end before you even know it so you just have to be happy Um, I also kind of want to talk about the manifestation aspect because I've been really into manifestation. Well, I have been for like two years. But, um, you know, manifest your dream life, guys. For manifestation, okay, this is is what I'm going to say. I actually wrote down notes for this. Let me read to you guys what I have written down. The first thing that I have is that um, this is something that really helped like clarify all my confusions okay so uh, this is like in the like spiritual manifestation universe aspect of it um if you're religious you know you might have like a different um belief even if you're not religious you could possibly have a different belief but this is just what has helped me like um understand like what everything means you know so I heard, I think Sadhguru say this, but he said, faith comes in when you fail to create your destiny. I've always been so, like, confused on, um, how, like, like, is manifestation, are you, like, 
throwing off like your faith like your destiny or your faith or like are you like changing things like are things happening that are not supposed to happen like are you like changing things that are that you're you're making things like happen that are not meant to be for you like I was always confused about that because like you know when you're manifesting like you're manifesting things that you want and like you're you might think like oh I'm am I changing like the outcome that my life is supposed to have like is this what I'm meant for or like am I just manifesting something that doesn't really mean anything and like that I'm not meant for you know this um like phrase that Again, I'm not sure who it was, but I think it was Sadhguru said that faith comes in when you fail to create your destiny. This was so helpful to me because I was like, oh my gosh, this makes so much sense. You are creating your destiny. You are manifesting things that you want. You are working hard for, towards your dreams and goals. And if, you know, you're not chasing your dreams and if you're not manifesting things and if you're not believing in yourself or believing in your dreams or whatever faith's gonna come in and you know you guys know what I mean it's just so hard to explain I don't know why I'm explaining it so badly but you guys understand what I'm saying but this has helped me so much so this if you were confused about that too that's a possibility that's something that you guys can believe in that's is personally what I believe in um but obviously everybody has a different beliefs and different religions or even if it's not religion just different beliefs in general um next thing that I wanted to say um so I feel like manifestation a lot of people if you guys want to know like the basics of manifestation go listen to another episode or like watch YouTube videos I have a YouTube video about manifestation or you could go watch my episode with Sadie Aldis or with Luca Whitaker or with Michaela J or with Daria Akulshina um they all we were all talking about manifestation I was talking about manifestation in all of those videos I mean podcast episodes what am I saying um so you guys can go listen to those or just watch my video on YouTube about manifestation if you guys want to know more of the basics but like now I'm just talking about things that are just like adding to the basis of manifestation so um I recommend you guys go listen to the other things if you guys have no idea what manifestation is but basically I feel like a lot of people um think that manifestation like they see they don't think they see it as a chore okay they will be like okay this is what I have to do to manifest my goal. I have to visualize it. And then they just like visualize the thing and then they hate it and they can't sit in manifestation and they're just in, I mean, not in manifestation, they can't sit in meditation and they're just like, they're seeing it so much as like something that they're forcing themselves to do to get to their dreams than like something fun. Okay, so remember this manifestation and visualization is just daydreaming with an intention so visualizing your manifestations are just is just daydreaming with an intention okay so you shouldn't be seeing visualization as a chore you should literally be so happy and enjoying that moment so much that then it happens because you're you're daydreaming about what you want but you have an, an intention set to make it happen, you know? I don't know if that makes any sense. I feel like you guys are going to hear this episode and be like, this girl is so confused about what she's saying. I probably am. But you guys understand what I'm trying to say, okay? Hopefully you do. If not, I'm sorry. The next thing I wanted to say is take your manifestations off the pedestal. People, not people, me, every me and a lot of people around me that I see who manifest tend to put their take their manifestations and put them on a pedestal on the pedestal and just see them as like the most like crazy godly amazing like craziest thing that can ever happen okay which yes it's good to like want your dreams but if you just have your manifestations so high on the pedestal that you don't even like believe that you can actually achieve them it's they're not going to come to you um, you have to see your manifestations as like the most realistic things, realistic things ever. They don't have to be conventionally realistic, but you have to see them as realistic. You have to take your manifestations, even if it's like, I don't know, you have a dream to like be in a Broadway musical. You have to be like, oh yeah, that's totally normal. Like, obviously I'd be in a Broadway musical. Why wouldn't I? Like, 
you just literally just have to talk about your manifestations in that way because if you're seeing it as oh my god imagine i ever got an audition to be in a broadway musical that'd be the craziest thing ever i cannot believe that that would ever even happen to me but like i guess i'll try to manifest it it's not gonna come to you it's not gonna come to you because that is an energy of lack that is an energy of i will never have it because it's too difficult for me to it's too hard for me to reach you know that's not the right energy that you have to be in but recently i've been um going more into manifestation like going even deeper and i realized using the help of like a bunch of manifestation people (laughs) what do i call them i don't know um i came to the conclusion that manifesting obviously is about the feeling we knew that already but it's more about the feeling than you think your thoughts really don't matter that much the reason why people tell you to in your thoughts be thinking about what you have and acting as if you have it it's because of the feeling when you act as if you already i don't know let's say you want to be in a broadway musical if you act as if you already got the audition and you already got into the musical you're feeling happy you're feeling excited you're feeling thrilled you're feeling like oh my gosh this is crazy i'm so happy i'm so grateful i'm so excited and that raises your vibration that makes you feel good that makes you feel happy and so really manifestation is just focusing on the feeling like attracts like so when you're feeling happy and excited the universe is going to give you more happy and exciting things to be happy and excited about you know so therefore that is those are the things that you want the universe already knows what you want even if you're writing it in a journal the universe is not going to read your journal and be like oh uh uh-huh she wants to be in a broadway musical okay let's just put her order in and make that happen for her Uh uh-uh that's not how it works when the universe the universe like attracts like okay that's just science okay so it's just science and quantum physics and well we're not going to go into quantum physics because that's going to be a whole other topic but the law of attraction is a law it's a law of the universe just like gravity is a law so you just have to feel the feeling for it to come to you resistance is not good at all if you're you want that thing so bad that you have so much resistance attached to it your feelings are going to turn into feelings of stress of fear that you're not going to get what you want and that's not the feelings that are going to get you if you're in a feeling of stress and fear because you have so much resistance uh, like towards your manifestation you're gonna attract more things that make you feel fear and stress you know obviously so you have to set your intention and then just forget about your manifestations just forget about it you don't even need to set your intention because the universe just knows what you want the universe you just will get your dream life just by being fully completely happy in the state that you are right now if you do want to set an intention to feel like that's going to help you more to get what you want. You can do that. So just like think about what you want. Let's want. Oh. Okay. Sorry, guys. We're back. We had a bit of technical difficulties, but I'm back. Basically. Sorry about that. Um, I'm not editing this episode because I just want to get it out as soon as you guys, as soon as I can for you guys. So that's why Um, if there's some technical difficulties, we're just leaving that in. Anyways, basically, um like I was saying if you want to set an intention let's say I intend to be on a Broadway show okay that is your intention you put that intention out into the universe and then you have to be completely and utterly content in the state that you are now without even without being in a Broadway show you know so you have to just live so happily that the universe is like oh my gosh she's so happy like she must be in a Broadway show because that's always been her dream so let's get her in a Broadway show like I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying but have a low resistance thought I saw this in a TikTok okay let me <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh at me because TikTok is that the most reliable source no but it's okay because I informed myself and I know what I'm talking about I'm not giving you guys false information have a low resistance thought that you can always go back to to feel happiness and joy in your heart okay let's say your low resistance thought so low resistance thought oh my god I cannot speak a low resistance thought is a thought that's always gonna um make you happy but that doesn't have any resistance associated to it so it has to be something super simple that you kind of take for granted but that's still gonna make you really happy to like think about okay so like let's say i don't know like 
it could be different every single day, okay? But let's say one day you're, I don't know, getting ice cream tonight. You can be thinking about that all day and that's just the low resistance thought that's going to bring you your vibrations that's going to raise them back up. So basically, you know, if you're in a really bad mood, you could just think, oh, I'm getting ice cream tonight. And then your heart is going to light up and be so happy and excited. And your vibration is going to shoot up, right? And the thing is, the reason why it's a low resistance thought is because let's say that night you don't end up getting ice cream, okay? It's not the end of your life, okay? Like you don't need to get ice cream to be happy in life, okay? If that doesn't happen, okay, it's not going to ruin the cor- the rest of the course of your life, okay? You're going to be okay. That's why there's no resistance associated to it because you're not so obsessed over that thing happening, right? And so there's never going to be any stress or fear associated to that feeling because you're not going to think, oh, I'm getting ice cream tonight with the fear of what if I don't get ice cream tonight? You know, what if I have to live the rest of my life without having had ice cream tonight? You know, like you're not thinking that, right? So have a low resistance thought. It could change, like I said, or it could always be the same. Like, let's say, oh, I'm so happy um, that I have hair on my head. That's what the girl on the TikTok said. She was like, I'm always so grateful for my long and luscious hair. Okay. If that's your situation, then that could be your low resistance thought. Okay. It's different for everybody. And, um, it can vary depending on the day, but that is basically all my manifestation advice. But just remember that it's all in the feeling and that you just have to be completely happy in the situation that you are in right now to get what you want because the universe like attracts like you know, so if you are happy and if you are content and if you are living your best life and you're so glad, let's say you have no money, okay? If you're still finding ways to be, if you're still the happiest person ever without any money, then the universe is going to give you money because the universe is going to be like, oh, she's so happy. Like she must have money. Like she, cause she, cause she wants money. So like if she's so happy, like she must have it. So you're getting it. I don't know if that makes any sense. But it makes sense in my head and hopefully it makes sense in your head too because I feel like this is very important knowledge for you guys to know because this has helped me incredibly in my manifestations. Basically, that's everything for the manifestation aspect of it. Um, Let me just have a sip of my coffee. Give me one second. Okay, we're back. I forgot about my coffee and now it's cold so I'm a little disappointed in myself. But it's okay. It's all right. We're gonna continue on with this episode. So back to just like life in general in 2022 um in 2022 we're going to put our best selves forward we are going to reach our highest self we are going to accept negative situations because we know they have a positive outcome we are going to live love and laugh we are going to be the kindest people ever we are going to be self-compassionate we are going to love ourselves and be confident because you're amazing you're beautiful you're great you're perfect Okay, just the way you are. I'd also like to say that um, I hope everybody has an amazing 2022. It's going to be a great year for all of us. I know it. Season two of the podcast is happening. It's going to be great. It's going to be a fire season on the podcast. So stay tuned for that. Um, let me know. You guys can DM me on Instagram at Happiness Headspace if you guys have any guests that you'd like to see on the podcast. I would love to hear from you guys um, on that aspect of things. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for listening to this episode. Subscribe to the podcast so you could do this on Apple Podcasts. Um, I don't think you can do it on... Sp- Actually, yes, you can. So, <laughs> sorry, subscribe to the podcast on all platforms. Um... Leave us a review. This you can only do on Apple Podcasts. So leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. I would appreciate it so much. So incredibly much. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for listening to this episode. And I will see you guys in the next one. Or I will hear... Oh wait, (laughs) that doesn't make sense. I was going to say I will hear you guys in the next one. But anyways, you guys will hear me in the next one. And a special guest that I'm very excited for. Okay, bye guys. Love you. Have a great 2022. And listen to the podcast. Please and thank you. Bye guys.